Anybody can be good, nice, decent to others when things are going well. It can be said that the true measure of somebody's character and who they are, their values, what they represent, can come in times of pressure, high stress, hard times. And I know right now that, at least here in the U.S. and certainly in other places throughout the world, you know, there are a lot of people that have been very negatively affected by COVID-19. So far, honestly, the impact to me has been very minimal. I'm very thankful for that, believe me. But also know that that could change just like that. So what I'm not going to do is rag on others who have been negatively impacted or are seeing their lives being upended and turned inside out. Show compassion for others, understanding for others, empathize, even sympathize with others. Now that should be like a basic human trait that we should all be able to demonstrate. And there are certainly many, many other people that go above and beyond to do a far greater job than I do. And you know, as often in this country as we're always told to celebrate the military and celebrate the police, well, let's celebrate some real heroes this time, paramedics. Doctors, nurses, all of these people that put themselves literally at risk for COVID-19 every single day by going to do their job in an overwhelmed system, trying to do the best they can to save people's lives. They deserve recognition for that. The big thing you don't want to be is don't be Braun Strowman. Now, understanding this is the same A clown that was referring to George W. Bush as a hero. That same guy. Talking about that dude. Like, this is something conservatives and liberals are usually pretty united around. Is that It's not even really a political statement to say that George W. Bush is far from a hero and was a horrible president. So right then and there, when you see a guy taking a picture with somebody like that, referring to him in that kind of light, like... We should really be careful throwing around the words hero. Like, Trump is not a hero. Obama was not a hero. Clinton certainly was not a hero. Bill or Hillary doesn't matter. You know, let's stop using that word so loosely. But that's one thing. That, that could be caught up in the moment, stupidity, da 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 But when you go out of your way, when somebody's not really talking to you, and then, yeah, I know it's coming from me, how ironic. But you go above and beyond, out of your way, to trash on other people, to rag on other people, just because you're in a position where it's not negatively impacting you, just because you're in a position that is much different than somebody else's, shows the internal character of somebody. And what's, what's stunning to me about it is, it's one thing if the Braun Strowman character was a heel or supposed to be a heel and truly supposed to be hated, and he's trying to do his best MJF impression, and he's going on social media, and he's ragging on independent wrestlers, talking about, well, if you were good enough and you were in the big leagues, you wouldn't have to worry about it now, sonny boy, would you? But instead, you went to your second-rate fed, and now you're sitting there begging people to support independent wrestling, and stay in the minor leagues where the hell you belong, and if it goes away, all the better. Like, that is the type of heel thing that you would expect a heel to say. That you could at least get from a staying in character standpoint. But Braun Strowman is none of that. Instead, he's just showing himself to be the raging anus that he is. Like, to go out of your way to rag on people when you've made it. That is great. That is wonderful. I am happy for the big, dumpy, Uncle Udo, Care Bear-looking mofo. That's wonderful. You've made it. But different people are in different situations and different circumstances. And to sit there and go out of your way to rag on people and use this as an opportunity to say, well, if you love what you do, that's one thing, but if it doesn't pay the bills, blah, blah, blah. You might say sometimes that's a fair thing. It is point that he brings up 
about he was doing strongman stuff and while he loved it, it didn't pay the bills, so he had to figure out something else to do with his life. That I can agree with. That I understand. That I can relate to because, yes, we can all have passions and things, but it doesn't necessarily put food on the table, a roof over our head, and it doesn't pay the bills. And sometimes you have to make that trade-off between what's really important or not as you're trying to trace chase dreams or passions. What are you willing to go without? What are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to give up? Now these are fair things to point out. So in a vacuum in and of itself, like if you had wrestlers talking about the need to support independent wrestling and wanting others to support independent wrestling and buy things and donate money and everything else, just in a vacuum in and of itself, I wouldn't necessarily disagree with Braun Strowman. But this is kind of a unique situation. And it's not like these guys did something inherently themselves that has put them in this situation. You know, when you go from expecting a certain level of income based off of what you've done and what you're doing, just like millions of Americans that one day have a job and then one day don't, and they're not chasing a dream or a passion, they're just trying to get by in their day-to-day -day lives. And all of a sudden, what they had is gone just like that. We shouldn't be raging like a roy-headed penis like Braun Strowman. We should be showing empathy and compassion and care for our fellow man and woman. It is not that hard to do. And it is very easy for Braun Strowman to sit on his high horse now that he's in WWE. He's got his downside guarantee and da, 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 da. That must be nice. But this is exactly why people hate on those that are rich and famous and successful. More often than not, it's not because they're rich, famous, and successful. It is what they do with that wealth, that fame, and success that determines who they are and how other people perceive them. Like, if you looked at that, why in any way would you want to like a Braun Strowman when he's just going out of his way to be a jerk? For no particular reason. When, mind you, by the way, not only are wrestlers being impacted, a lot of wrestling fans who have regular 9 to 5 jobs are being impacted out of circumstances that are totally and completely out of their control. If a city or state government locks you down, that means you're locked down. If your employer is not classified as essential, that means you don't work. If you worked in a restaurant or hospitality or other type of in industry, you're significantly negatively impacted, probably already have closed restaurants or significantly reduced hours. you got people having to go to unemployment benefits where they've never had to do that before and never would want to again. Like it's just not that hard to be okay towards other people. You can even have your jerk moments, your dick moments, your a-hole moments like I do. And you can still understand the importance, the need, and the significance of not being a total raging ass to people and kicking them while they're down. When it doesn't benefit your character, it doesn't benefit your company, it doesn't benefit your brand, and it doesn't benefit your business. You know, it's very easy for a guy like a Braun Strowman, who was blessed with tremendous size to begin with, who was able to sit there, you know, and I'm assuming living a somewhat comfortable upbringing with this world-class softball playing diet. You know, yeah, you're big freaking roided up. Dude, you're going to have certain advantages and opportunities that others don't. And yes, be thankful that you have worked hard and put yourself in that position. And I agree, you have worked hard and he has put himself in that position. I am not hating on Braun for doing that. I'm hating on Braun for him crapping on others that have not gotten to that point or are not in that position. That's horrible. Be better than Braun Strowman or Brandon or whatever the hell his name is. I don't even care. Don't sit there and rag on people. Yes, fundamentally. You know, stuff happens in life. There are tough breaks, and you got to figure out what to do and where to go. But, but this is something we haven't really seen in our lifetimes in terms of this level of lockdown and this level of attention towards something. Now, whether it's all totally rationalized or not, the bottom line is it doesn't matter. The impact is still the same to millions of Americans. 
Like, for God's sakes, it got so bad that the WWE is holding WrestleMania in the Performance Center in front of no fans, bro! What the hell is wrong with you? I guess I would expect nothing less from a guy that thinks George W. Bush is a freaking hero. But beyond and above all of that, that is just personal opinion. And that we can have disagreements on all day. The other part, though, that's just being a generally crappy, entitled, forgot where the hell you came from human being. People don't like people like Braun Strowman when they get in that position because they forget where they came from and they try to distance themselves from where they came from and they try to dismiss the struggles that others have. Like Braun Strowman saying, when I went down to the performance center, I put everything I owned in a Kia Soul and had 150 bucks in your pocket. You know what, right now, there are a lot of people that don't even have a car, especially, certainly not $150 in your damn pocket. And that could be up to and including plenty of professional wrestlers. You could use your story, Braun, to my point, as a motivation, as a way to uplift and help others. The way to not do that is being a raging jerk a-hole talking down to everybody else. And of course, his punishment is probably going to be winning one of the WWE's world titles finally on Sunday at WrestleMania, or maybe Saturday. Who knows when he's wrestling Goldberg? Good Christ. All I can say, people, is there are a lot of people being negatively impacted right now, and it's out of their control. Don't be Braun Strowman. Be better than Braun.